back. Menstrual products are must have items for girls and women, but if you've bought them recently, you know how expensive they are right now. And because of that cost, sometimes paying for them can be a struggle for some. And one survey we looked at for low income women found that about two thirds could not afford hygiene products like tampons or pads, stuff they really need. So to help ease the cost and fill that gap, a Chicago area nonprofit is holding a donation drive and collecting supplies to give to students. The group is called Candor Health Education, creating a list of Amazon on Amazon where people can buy items and those items will then be donated. So it's really, really easy to take part. Joining us live now via Zoom is the executive director of Candor Health Education, Barb Thayer. Good morning, Barb. Thanks for being with us. Good morning. Thank you for having me. So, such an important topic here. We're talking about essential items. We just talked about some statistics, but can you just elaborate a bit more on what you've discovered is the need here that some just can't afford this and they need to find other solutions? Yeah, absolutely. Like you said, two thirds of low income women in the past year had some trouble purchasing menstrual supplies, finding the funds to do that. And then they often have to choose between food or the menstrual supplies. So if you think about a uh, low income family with maybe two menstruating young people and a mother, um, it can be over $300 a year per person. So it's, it's a huge portion of their income that they have to decide um, you know, how to spend. And uh, oftentimes they have to get very creative, you know, to find other ways because they don't have the menstrual supplies. So to help this, you started this donation drive. So you package up kits and they're given to girls at the end of the school year. Who are those kits going to and really who are you serving here? Yeah, so we um, we deliver sex, puberty, and drug education programs to students in fourth through eighth grade. So we have a lot of relationships all over the Chicagoland area with schools, um, many of which are low income. And so we work with the schools, our partner schools, and we try to find those that are interested in uh, receiving these supplies. So in Illinois, students in fourth through 12th grade are uh, provided menstrual supplies during the school day but um, in the summer, they don't get those supplies. So what we try to do is provide as many students as we possibly can with supplies for the summer months to get them through that entire summer. That's so amazing to meet just the basic needs. Sometimes we can't even function if we can't get our basic needs met. So that's great that they can have that resource in the summer. For people who are watching and want to help, what do you need? What items are you collecting? And I did see some video of past drives. I mean, like a lot of stuff has been collected so far. A lot of stuff has been collected. Yeah, last year we served about 450 students and this year we're hoping to serve about 1,000. So we um, we do have our wish list online. We alter that based on you know what we've collected thus far right now what we're really looking for are just regular menstrual pads um so that's that's our big need now but we do have um liners we have overnight pads we have tampons and so um we will give the uh students that receive these kits a variety of different supplies but our big need right now is just the regular menstrual pads and how can people donate if they go to our website candorhealthed.org You'll see a link right on that homepage, um, and that'll take you right to the Amazon wish list. We will also just take regular donations here at our office, and our address is listed there as well. So cool. 400 students served last year. You're hoping to do 1,000. That's more than double. Good luck. Yeah. I hope that this thank helps you. a little bit and people step up to help. Barb Thayer, thank you for joining us. Okay, thank you so much.